As a parent of two young children, a lot of my time has been telling my kids what they can and cannot do, or touch, or wear. No running with scissors, no touching hot stoves, no wearing pajamas to school, unless I can tell it's gonna be one of those days and I just need to lean into it. But saying no to your kids all of the time can be a real bummer. So I try to say yes at every opportunity, yes to fun, to adventure, to going after life, you know, carpe diem. So when my son asked if we could host a pool party, I had to stop myself from blurting out yes right away. Hey, you can't blame a girl for wanting to be the fun mom. But here's the thing, as fun as swim time and pool parties are, what they aren't are a free pass to ignore your kids and zone out. Each year, the Consumer Product Safety Commission reports that around 350 kids under the age of five die in pool or spa-related incidents. And drowning isn't like what you see in movies where everyone is splashing and yelling for help. The vast majority of drownings go unnoticed until it's too late, which is how they earned the nickname Silent Killer. Saying yes to swim time means you're committing to being fully engaged with your kids. Here's how to do it in just a few steps. First, make sure that you have proper barriers in place. These include a pool cover, an alarm, and a four-foot fence with self-latching, self-closing gates installed around your pool. Second, check that all pool drains are covered and kids stay clear of any underwater openings. Now, this next one is really important. Bring the camera in, guys. Are you ready? Never let a child swim unsupervised, no matter how much they sweet talk you. And they will sweet talk you. Always designate an adult water watcher to keep an eye on kids when they're in the pool. Okay, we're good on the close up. I think the audience felt my heat. Finally, if you or your child don't know how to swim, your local community center is a great place for lessons, which are often offered for free. Before your kids swim again, commit your household to preventing child deaths and injuries in the pool. Follow the simple water safety steps I've shared with you today and take the Pool Safely Pledge at PoolSafely.gov. And then go have some fun. Oh, they're here. I gotta go. I gotta be on it.